Ron, I know I'm so excited to hear this whole story. Can you start from the very beginning and tell us how the Herman family got here from Kansas City? They actually came from western Kansas. They, uh, my great-grandparents and grandparents uh, got on a ship in Germany and uh, arrived in New York. My great-grandparents went on to western Kansas and bought some farms. My grandparents came. They had nothing. I think he had $86 when they got off the train in western Kansas, uh, just east of Dodge City. And they homesteaded a 80-acre tract south of Kinsley, Kansas. He didn't like the soil there, but they lived in a Saudi there. Uh, they bought one farm, and before you know it, uh, he accumulated uh, over 3,000 acres of really good land. And uh, when World War I was starting, of course, wheat prices skyrocketed, and uh, he did very well. His efforts had paid off, and uh, he made a lot of money. And uh, so he kept his farms and asked a priest when he was getting a, a haircut in the county seat, where could he go where they had good music and spoke German? And the priest said, San Antonio, Texas. This is my grandfather and grandmother William and Augusta, taken probably in uh, Kinsley, Kansas, the county seat, before they migrated here. Where did they live here in San Antonio? 138 Goliad in Hemisphere. That house was very nice. They had a, a my grandparents didn't like going upstairs, so they made a bedroom in the northwest corner. And here's the way it looked when my grandparents lived there. Dad wanted to take photos so the family would know how it looked before it was improved by the city. <laughs> here's the carriage house where uh, their operations are centered now. It was in the back of the house, they've moved it back with a wonderful myrtle tree. I've never seen one like it since. We only uh, uh, celebrated Christmas and Thanksgiving at the Herman House, sometimes Easter, but it was always a big event. But we did not, I did not live there. My dad grew up there and a couple of aunts grew up there. My grandmother and my aunt always made, made, made us feel welcome, a part of the home. And uh, my brother and I, as I mentioned, slept there often when they were, and stayed there when my parents were traveling, which was frequently. At Mission Park and Mission Park Cares, we'd like to bring you more programming each and every week. Yes, just subscribe here or catch us every Sunday morning on Fox 29. And remember, at Mission Park, it's our mission to care.